So within our iPhones, we actually have the capability of changing our ringtone or our alarm or anything to really any sort of ringtone or sound that we basically want to set it to. Whether you have an iPhone, iPod, whatever you want, it's a very basic process. All we need to do is make sure that we have two things. One, we want to make sure we have the GarageBand application installed on our particular iPhone. So go through and install the GarageBand app. And then two, you want to make sure you have the audio file of that song that you want to download. So you want to find a way to get it. I've already downloaded it. It's basically just this Ben Sound one that I just had right over here. It's like a free sound that you can get online. So you can download your song wherever way you want to. Hopefully you get it legally. But that's kind of the first thing you want to do is have GarageBand and that song installed. Now what you want to do then is you want to open up the GarageBand application that we basically just downloaded. So open up the GarageBand. You can go ahead and use a different project. If you have a pre-existing project, you can go and open it up. But in this case, we'll just go and create a new project and we'll just go and just bring in a keyboard or something like something basic, right? So now what we want to do is you want to click on this third option right up here, which shows like these bars that are kind of on top of each other. So we want to get into this panel. Now what we want to do next is we want to click on this little plus icon and we want to bring in the microphone. So we want to keep scrolling until we find the audio recorder option and you want to go and bring that in. Now when you do that, you want to click on the three lines yet again and you'll come here. Now what we want to do now is we want to go out of GarageBand and we want to go and open up our files application. So open up files and we want to find that audio file that we just downloaded. So the one that we got, the one we want to change our ringtone to, you want to find it. You want to hold it down just like this. You want to drag and drop it. And you want to go and drag and drop it inside of GarageBand just like so. Now when you do that, you'll basically see this come up. So now what we want to do is we want to drag this over and you want to edit up this sound whichever way you want to. So if you want it to be closer, bigger, longer, whatever you want, you can go and kind of configure this whichever way you want to from here. And now you can go and make this, again, whatever, how long you want, how short, you can go and change it whichever way. So I'll allow you to edit it up. Now, whenever you're ready, you want to share this out. What you want to do is you want to go and click on the top left corner right up here, and you want to go and click on My Songs. So now it'll go ahead and save this project out. It may take a second for it to show up here or for it to load up or whatever. But whenever it's actually fully loaded up and it's good to go, what you're going to want to do here is you want to go ahead and hold down on that project. So again, wherever that project is, if it's located here somewhere, you should be able to find it. And what you want to do is you want to hold it down. So what you want to do is you want to hold it down until you get into this panel. So hold down on that project like this, and you'll find the share button. Tap into the share button right there, and it's going to allow you to change it into a ringtone. So now you can go and click on ringtone right here, and you could... And you can change the name of the song. So in this case, I'll just keep it my song six, but you can change it to whatever you want to. So now you can click on export. It's going to export it as a ringtone. It's going to just take a few minutes for it to do. And then when it's done, as you can see, I can go and click out of here. I can then go into my settings application. So I'll hop into settings just like this. The next step is you want to go ahead and find your sound panel. So under sounds and haptics, which is right here, tap on that. And then you're going to see a little panel that says ringtone. So you can tap in a ringtone and you can see your new sound that you just made is right here. So you can change it to this one, you can change it to the other one, but that's basically how it works. And that's really all you're going to have to do. It really is that basic. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.